cookies out here for Rock Alternative 9.5 and WERG. That was Jesse Lavery with Try Again. He will be performing with from uh, Behind the Nine Ball and I guess in Studio One Wayness out of Wilquist in Meadville on Saturday at the Gardner Theater in the Market House. Seven o'clock showtime. Three bucks. Three bucks. Three, Three bucks. acts. And uh, a good time. Three bucks, all ages. All ages, even. There you go, kids. Mom, take me down to Meadville. That's right. Mom, take me down to Meadville. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'm in. Cool. So, um, do you just start, I mean, when you build something, is it an idea in your head, or do you just start messing around and you're like, ah, I dig this <laughs> beat. Like, I dig this You know what? Loop, it really, like, it really depends. You know, it's, um, it's different things, different times. You know, sometimes it'll be uh, a sound, whether it's, um, you know, a keyboard sound that I find or that I build or make, or uh, sometimes it'll be an idea of instrumentation, or sometimes it'll even just be a structure. Like I want to make a piece that's about this long. Um, mm -hmm. Like with my like with my album, um, you know, it it's definitely somewhat consciously sort of a tribute to the the early electronic music albums of the '70s by you know uh, Tangerine Dream and Klaus Schultz and all the guys like that. And basically most of those albums were two tracks, side one and side two, basically. Right. Uh, you know, they were just sort of a 20 minute track on side one and another 20 minute track on side two. Um, so I sort of somewhat consciously set out to sort of have that scale for some of the stuff that I was doing on the album. So it was like must write 18 minute song. Um, <laughs> And you know, sort of went from there, which s sounds you know a little bit self-indulgent, and it probably is. But um, what's wrong with self-indulgence? What's wrong with self-indulgence, <laughs> of course? Uh, and you know, s like um, you know, the the third track, the last track on my album, uh, "Nothing Is Hidden, Nothing Is Revealed." That was one that sort of started out with playing with a software synth that had a really cool sound that I liked and. Uh, it was just sort of a, something that clicked, like, I want to do something with this and lap steel. And it sort of grew out of the the idea of, I want to do something with this synth and lap steel. And then sort of um, sort of grew elements from there. And it's, it's sort of interesting with these things that start with a structure, they sort of inevitably go through this point where I hate them. <laughs> because I've got this like 20 minute thing that's all structure and it has no sort of points of interest because a lot of times it's like I'll leave a space here where something pretty will go and so you know there's there's this just sort of empty space which I mean there's certainly things to be said for the use of empty space in you know in music and in certainly what I do but um yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that sort of go through this phase where they're really boring and I kind of hate them for a while. And you, know, <laughs> then, you find something pretty to jam in. Yeah, until I find you know the thing that the thing that goes in the hole that I've left for it. <laughs> and uh, and thankfully they've you know all somewhat Make somewhat it fit. gotten there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So speaking of and there's actually the the thing that I did last time I was here, which just started as a total uh, jam like. Not like what I just did, but in the sense of what I just did. Um, you know, sometimes I'll take things like that and go, oh, I liked this little section of that, I'm going to go somewhere with that. Um, and that one I had gathered up some voice samples for, and I don't know how well you remember what I did last time I was here, but um, I basically took that back in the studio and finished writing it, and it's in the live set now. So. <laughs> Check that out. So, yeah, things, things, things are growing out. out of phase kickies. Things growing out it's, of phase kickies. Uh, it's Craig Manure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, you, you want to play with your toys again? Uh, yeah, I'm actually just going to play with just one of my toys. And this one I have a cheat sheet for. Because we were talking about, um, you know, things that were improv, so that I've had to go back and teach myself. Uh, <laughs> this is a version of a song from my album called Blue Star Return. And, uh,. I have a little cheat sheet right here that's enough structure of it that it's uh, hopefully recognizably what it's supposed to be, and then um, it's going to sort of sort of evolve and be an improv from there. Here is Adam Volkos, One Wayness on Chase Cookies.
ways. Thanks. Um, always, one way is messing around. Messing around. Messing around, making noise.